Hello, my name is Carla Alvarez. I'm 165 centimeters. I'm an actress and I'm currently the lead in a new show that's running in Paris. As I remember it, you always liked me. A little more than I ever liked you, but it was a good solid deal between the two of us, so I went along with it. But I was never faithful to you. Not one day. I was out with someone, then chasing the next one, and calling them from the other room while you were in the shower. From literally the first day I moved in, right from then on. You were easy. Easy to live with. Lie to and all of that. And I wasn't attracted to you. Yet I realised after a while it was okay to let the sex drop up and we could still bumble along as a couple. So I did. I did that and I continued to see whomever I wanted, whenever I wanted, in my pursuit of endless pleasure. But at one point, I'm, I'm not sure why, it felt wrong and I think it was the sound of you crying one night and I finally needed out. So I told you I had to go. It was a mercy killing me breaking up with you. It was me helping you dodge a bullet. So I left and that was that. I'm, I'm sorry I hurt you. I damaged you. Even in some way, um, that was that of me, really, but I grew up little anyway and I realized that I should go out and do what I want, but I should live a truthful life. So I, I did and I did and I set you free. That must be some kind of love, no? My left eye actually still stinks from the abuse it took to next to that guy in his car. It was bad. It was really bad. The worst kind I ever experienced. Like, I had to give him the side face the whole night. When I first stepped into his car, I thought it was something in his car, but as we drove off and got talking, I placed the aroma, okay? Like, what does it actually take to brush your teeth and tongue, you know? I mean, come on, really, we joked about that kind of thing before, haven't we? People with bad breath. Honestly, it's almost annoying to have to bring it up, but this guy's breath was abusive. It was. It should be considered physical abuse. Every time he spoke, it was like hot lava being poured onto my face, and I, I coughed every time he got me breathing in. This is what I had to do the whole night. I had him drop me off early and I told him, I said, listen, your breath stinks and you should really think twice about it next time you want to take a girl like me out. So with that, I stepped out of his car and I went to my house and that was it. Never spoke to that guy again. Absolutely nasty dog breath.